Rob Pacinelli here from thebestmedia.com. This is your walkthrough video of our online reputation management software. This is a do-it-yourself tool that's gonna help you manage your online reputation easily and efficiently. How do your customers see you online? How do people view your business online? This is gonna really be important for your business. So let's walk through and check it out. Hi there, welcome to your reputation dashboard. This product is a comprehensive solution that allows you to manage all your reviews from one place. Get insights through AI and machine learning. Be found everywhere customers are searching and more. When you first open the dashboard, you will land on this overview page, which provides a summary of recent activity and high level analytics. Let's take a look at the reviews tab. Customer reviews can have a significant impact on your business's reputation, which can ultimately affect your revenue. With this dashboard, you can monitor online reviews from various key sources across the web, all from one place. Here's where you'll see the average aggregate rating of all your reviews, along with the total number of reviews. Compare yourself to the industry average and take action to improve. Start by analyzing your top keywords. This shows the top 10 keywords your customers use most often in reviews. Powered by artificial intelligence, this section provides a lot of insight into what your customers are saying about your business. But more on that later. The most important action you can take on this page is responding to reviews. Recognizing customer feedback, both good and bad, is an excellent marketing opportunity for your business. And if you don't know what to say, use one of the review response suggestions. These are intelligently recommended to you based on the sentiment of the review, so you always have the perfect response. Here's where you can manage all your suggested responses. Click Edit to edit the response and add in dynamic components like your business name, the phone number, or reviewer's name. Delete any of the default ones and even add in some of your own. To help keep your reviews organized, you can always update the status of reviews and then filter here based on the source, rating, or status like those without a response. Let's respond to this review by first picking a suggested response and adding in a personal touch. There, your response is now posted to Facebook. Now for the widgets sub tab. Have a bunch of great reviews? Show them off on your website using this widget, which is totally customizable. Then just plug this code into your website and it'll automatically show off all your best reviews to people visiting your site. Under the Statistics sub tab, you'll be able to see your business reviews showcased over time. Understand points in time where you were receiving bad or no reviews. And this is a good indicator that it's time to ask your customers for reviews. We also show you your average time to respond to those reviews. Responding to reviews in a timely manner is important for keeping customers happy and showing potential customers that the business is responsive. The Insights tab is powered by artificial intelligence, allowing you to dig deep into your customer reviews. Your trending keywords here are analyzed for sentiment, which basically means how positively or negatively that word is used in your reviews. For example, this word is overall positive. And once you click on the word, you can see how many times it's been used in your reviews and see that overall it's on a downward trend in sentiment. Here's where you can see how your customers describe that keyword. Click on any one of these words and you'll see all the reviews that mention it. Use this insight to understand more about what your customers love about your business and also areas for improvement. Now for listings. It's important to ensure that your business is listed on as many relevant listing sources as possible, and that key data such as your name, address, and phone number is accurate and consistent. The Primary Listings sub-tab analyzes your key information on relevant search engines, review sites, directories, and social media sites, and it shows you whether your business information is accurate, found with possible errors, or not found. We're matching the sites with the info provided in this section at the top. So if you notice any errors in the details here, just click at it to make changes. To correct or claim listings, just click the drop-down, then edit your listing or create a listing. This will take you to the source where you can log in or create an account. And once you're done, you can paste the URL of your not found listing right here, or just wait 24 hours for the software to find the correct details. 
As you update and claim listing sources, your overall listing score will improve. We've identified the most important business directories and then assigned scores to each site based on its popularity. This research has led to a score that accurately reflects the ever-changing local search environment and continues to adapt to those changes over time. Try to at least surpass your industry's average and aim for the 95th percentile. Some of the more well-known sources, such as Google and Facebook, will award you more points than others, so make sure those are corrected first. Now, let's look at the Citations sub-tab. Citations are all of the websites that display your business's phone number. These are typically smaller, hyper-local, and industry-specific sites. Our system pulls in tons of interesting information, so it's worth exploring. Lastly, in the Statistics sub-tab, you can monitor the listing score and the total number of citations found over time to see how you've improved. Next, the Google Q&A tab is where you will go to see all the questions and answers that the public has left on your Google My Business listing. It's important to monitor the questions being asked by the public to ensure you can provide a professional and correct answer. You will be alerted each time a new question is left on the listing so that you can be the first to address it. This is an opportunity to showcase your business's dedication to an excellent customer experience. It's also good practice to ask and answer your own questions to provide potential customers accurate FAQs about your business. You can do that by clicking this button at the top and posting your question here. And once it's posted, you can answer it from the dashboard like this. The Competition tab is a great place to keep tabs on other companies in your area and industry. Here, you can monitor your business's presence on search engines and compare it with your competitors. You can also benchmark your social media audience against that of your competitors. This information lets you know whether your customers are finding your business online instead of the competition. Get started by going to the Settings tab and locating the Competition sub-tab. Add in relevant service categories that pertain to your business, along with up to three competitors, to see how often your business appears in search engine results compared to your competition. You can also add in the URLs of your competition's Facebook and Twitter pages. Once done, click Save. The information in the charts might take a minute to populate. Let's check out the Mentions tab. Many people express their opinions on websites, blogs, news articles, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. But wouldn't it be great to know what they're saying about your business? With the Mentions tab, you can discover what people are saying about your business, positive and negative, in order to maintain your reputation across the internet. It's like superhuman hearing. Get started by clicking on the Mentions sub-tab within your Settings tab. To set up mentions, think about how someone would reference your business in a news article, blog, or a web page. It's a safe bet to set up a search for your business's name and include the city you're located. If your business often goes by a nickname, enter that in too. You can also set up a mention search for key people at your business, like a general manager or the CEO. For example, a physician may want to include their name as well as their practice's name. That way, you'll be notified when they're mentioned online. You can enter up to 25 mention searches in total. Use the must include and must not include keywords to eliminate recurring irrelevant results. Remember that really broad searches will pull in irrelevant and useless results and you don't want that. Mentions will begin to populate in about 15 minutes, but can take a bit longer depending on how much content about your business is online. Once ready, Click on the Mentions Timeline sub-tab to see whether that mention was positive or negative, and tag it accordingly. And of course, use your filters to stay organized. The Social tab is where you can monitor likes and followers over time. Let's take a quick look. On the right, you can easily filter through your different social profiles. And you can also focus on social activity within a specified date range. Under Employee Monitoring, you can monitor the Twitter accounts of any of your employees to ensure that they're being positive brand ambassadors. Remember, your reputation is heavily comprised of what other people, employees included, say about your business online. The last sub-tab is statistics. You can view stats of all your social profiles and compare your presence against the industry average. 
This graph is also interactive, so hovering over the date will help you understand key points in time. If you're ever wondering where to go when looking to connect social media accounts or filter listing websites, change competitor information, or monitor search terms online, head to the Settings tab. The Settings tab is located at the very bottom of your sidebar. If you're missing information on your dashboard or you don't see something you saw in the video, it's just likely not configured in your settings. The Reports tab is where you can see all your weekly reports. Click into one, and check out the reputation section to see a roll-up of everything your dashboard is monitoring, including recent reviews, top keywords, and the average time to respond to reviews. Refer back to your reports regularly to see how you've improved. And that's all there is to it. Enjoy logging into your reputation dashboard each day to monitor your business's online presence. Start taking control of the conversation about your business online. Thanks for watching. I hope you got a lot of value from watching this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and call us if you have any questions, 416-253-0934 or visit thebestmedia.com.